Nosferdot friends, roll at the logbook.com. We are still playing Dungeon. This this game is ridiculously addictive on the Apple II. Even though I'm having trouble with my superhero defeating this darn purple worm, but I'm about to give it another go. Attack. Hey, I defeated you know. The real purple worm was the friends we made along the way. Only a thousand GP for that? In the meantime, Burchis the wizard is having some difficulty just clearing level three. Let's just throw a fireball at whatever is in here. Oh, there's a gargoyle. What we needed was lightning. Oops. Which direction Polgo? Okay, Polgo was really just trying to go back around and finish clearing out level four. <clears throat> Let's cast a lightning spell this time. Zap. Thank you very much. 2000 GP? Okay. Yeah. Better than a kick in the head. All right, Polgo, let's go find some trouble. Oh no, not the slime. I hate the green slime. I, I don't care if you missed me, green slime. Burgess found a secret door, good for him. Okay, good. Let's get that green slime out of the way. A surprisingly wealthy green slime. Oh. I was trying to give it compass directions. It's not how this game works. This game is exceedingly simple, and yet the replay value is off the charts. Much like the board game itself, 3,000 GP. Okay, we gotta get Polgo back to the center of the map. Because I have a feeling Polgo is hauling enough treasure around to win the game. Alright, Burchis is on the same map. Dealing with the same crap. Purchase the wizard. Let's go meet your fate. Pull go. Gonna see if we can. Paul goes back at the center of the map. Let's see if that is good enough to. win the day. Evidently not. Oh, yes, Polgo won the game. Okay, so there you go. That, that, that passed by very fast. Sorry about that. The... <clears throat> in fact, I may go back in post and freeze frame that. It's a very good translation of the original board game. Uh, I do want to give some some big thanks to my friend Vic Sage for kind of giving me a refresher course in how the original board game worked because I did not have a chance to spend a lot of time with Dungeon in board game form. But I feel like I am getting a significant amount of experience with it in this form. And that's not a bad thing. It, it really does do the board game justice. It's exceedingly simple. I mean, this 
for 1982, okay, this would have been just as the Apple IIe was appearing, but it was still very common practice for games to be delivered it, using 48K of memory so you could still play it on an Apple II Plus. And the fact that all the text that is not graphical text, like what you see here with the copyright notice in the second... Okay, that's graphical text, which you can tell because of the color uh, dithering going on there. The in-game text, you know, actually uses the text mode or the text window at the bottom of the GR or HGR mode. Actually, no, the HGR mode uses graphical text. So the map screens using GR mode, uh, those are using actual text. That text is all caps. And so I strongly suspect this game was delivered in a as a 48k package that could still be played on Apple II Plus. The Apple IIe was a very new development. Was the Apple IIe in 82 or did it not show up until 83? I I honestly forget. I would have to look it up. It was still common practice to deliver it in deliver software in a form that would be playable on a two plus. With that limitation in mind, this version of the dungeon board game is all the more impressive because everything that is cool about the board game is here. The entire board game experience is here. Anything about the board game that is tedious is really minimized. That, you know, your map screen movement is, that's basically an action game. It's once you get into combat mode that it goes to high res mode, and then you're having to actually consider stats and stuff. So. Very, very nicely done by TSR's programmers in 1982, which, I'm going to give it a moment, the fellow who's credited here with the computer versions, someone, someone other than the creator of the board game, Bruce Nesmith, did the Apple II version. Uh, nicely, nicely done, Bruce. Uh, the original board game was by, uh, looks like David McGarry, and there were, and uh, Gary Gygax did have some input because this was part of TSR's roster at the same time as Dungeons and Dragons. The original board game came out in 75, if you can believe that. But the, the mass market version that most people are familiar with started appearing around 1980. And as you can see up here, uh, on the little TV there, you know, there was a TV commercial for the dungeon board game. And I don't think there was a TV commercial for the computer version. There should have been because this, this is really close. I mean, considering how addictive this, I found this, this seems like this could have been a killer app on the Apple II a much needed killer app. This was not on the Commodore 64. This was not on the IBM PC. This was not on TRS-80. This was not on the Atari 8-bits. It was just on the Apple II. So it was exclusive to the Apple II. Seems like this version of Dungeon should have been a killer app. And indeed, indeed it did win awards. Uh, Electronic Games Magazine gave it an Archie Award a couple of years after it came out. Uh, because they, too, were as enthralled with the computer version of Dungeon as I have been. Hope you enjoyed sticking around for the whole quest. I knew that wasn't going to happen in a single video. Still, a lot of fun.